Hello and welcome to the discussion session of physics question that had been asked today on 21st May 2017 as given by JEE advanced we are discussing physics paper 2 and the code that I have is code 0 let's begin and the first question is from section 1 and it contains the questions having only single options correct the marking scheme is plus 3 for correct 0 for not attempted and minus 1 for wrongly solved or wrongly ticked. Let's begin here. The first question is from the center of mass and a bit of rotational motion involved. Paper 1 of this did not have a question from rotational motion but here there is a slight touch of the rotational motion topic. It's something like consider regular polygon with all these sides 3, 4, 5 as shown the cm that i've used for center of mass of all is at a height h from the ground yani sabhi polygons ke jo center of mass hai ground se h height upar hai they roll about leading vertex without slipping as depicted so this is the leading vertex and all are rolling without slipping so this point would be fixed the maximum increase in height of the locus of center of mass is delta. So, we have to calculate karna hai the correct value of delta. Let's see. Rather to deal with individual one, let's try to take a generic polygon, something like this, and a polygon of n side. This is the circumcenter, and this is the initial height, which is h. Or maan lete, iska jo circum radius hai, wo L hai. This angle would straightforward be pi by n. Now just try to imagine, when this polygon rolls about this particular thing, the center will make a circle, a circle of radius L. Or the maximum height from the center, the height, the vertical distance would be L, which is very evident. So delta, which is maximum displacement of the center of mass, the maximum increase in height, it's the same thing, of the locus of center of mass, which is asked, so that would straightforward be L, when it would be at the topmost point, when this goes here, minus of H, H is the initial height of the center of mass from the ground. Answer, we have H the term so that means the entire exercise would be to convert L in terms of H. That's very straightforward here. In this particular triangle, L cos pi by n would be equals to H. Yani H ka jo value hai or L that's what has been asked is H upon cos pi by n. Now all you have to do is put the value of L from equation 2 into equation 1 you would get the correct option as option number D so option number D would be the correct solution of the first question question number 1 let's move to question number 2 question number 2 dekhte. it is related to a basic mathematical IQ let's try to say this question it says consider an expanding sphere of instantaneous radius r whose total mass remains constant. Yani, agar ye sphere hai under consideration, then this sphere is expanding or kisi bhi instant pe iska jo radius hai wo capital R. The expansion is such that instantaneous density remains constant. Kehne ka matlab, Whenever it expands, density everywhere is uniform. Of course, the previous density and the latter density would be different. But kisi bhi ek instant pe, anywhere you go, the density is uniform. And also, 1 by rho d rho by dt is constant. Ye bhi additional fact di gai hai. The velocity v of any point on the surface of expanding sphere is proportional to. Yani, velocity of any given point since it is expanding in the radial direction to this point ki velocity 
would be represented by dr by dt. Let's see. I can write m is 4 by 3 pi r cube into density rho. Ek product ke form mein, so let me directly go with the log. That would be log k plus 3 log r plus log rho. Now I can differentiate. 0 would be 0 plus 3 by r dr by dt plus 1 by rho d rho by dt. And even this particular fact is given constant. So here I'll straightforward get dr by dt would be, you see, minus k, if I write this as k, r divided by 3. Negative sign ka bas yehi significance hai. With increase in time, radius would increase because here you have to understand this particular k would be negative because d rho by dt would be negative. That's a common sense because as it expands, then, you know, the value of density would decrease. So if you go more precisely, if I write d rho by dt, that would be minus of k and ultimately that would be plus. However, ye is minus nahi rakti hai yaha par because humne jo nikalna tha dr by dt ka proportionality and that is directly proportional to r. Question number two will have a correct option as option number a. Aage badte, question number three ke liye.